Right, okay, I will show you what I've done. This is what the end result is going to be. So if I go back, I'll show you what I've done. Okay, let's go back. Delete. Right, so in the top viewport, I've got my snaps on. Snaps to vert, snaps to grid. Uh, I'm going to create a spline. Just a line will do. Let's snap it to a vert. Hey, yeah. Oh no, let's just snap it to a grid point. I'll be fine. Okay, so that's my spline. Now let's move it. Let's move it up. Let's move it up to that bit there. So it's roughly along the right edge. <coughs> in fact, there's Bob on. Okay, now perspective mode. I notice you work a lot in realistic. I've changed it to shaded because it works a lot. It's a lot faster. Um, and you're not going to do many viewport renders anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it being in realistic. Right, um, so I've got the the polygon that I want to extrude. I'm going to use extrude along spline. I'm going to set it to one segment, pick spline, boom. And then tick, that's it. Now, that puppy is practically, I would say that's bob on. That's dead on point that. Okay, that was pretty good. So that's that's it. You know, if you want to extrude something that's um, slightly angled, slightly skewed, or a strange shape, and you want it to extrude straight, make yourself a spline, extrude along the spline, um, and that should be um, sorted. All right, pal. If you get any more problems, give us a shout.